think it's CB Radio Christmas here. So I just opened up a, a box. And what's funny is two of the, the CBs I ordered that I was actually really looking for for a long time came on the same day. So that's a Road Talker 40 SSB that I asked, got. But this is actually the one I really wanted. And I actually paid more money for it. And if you do a search for like the best CB radio ever made, this thing comes up a lot. I mean, it's not a CPI, so it's not a $2,000 radio, but when it comes to mobile radios, this was considered like one of the best radios of all times. And as far as I know, it has an 858PLL chip in there. Um, and I do actually have a Teddy R. And the reason what turned me on to put on these present radios was, what, was when I was you know, undoing the mods on this radio. I couldn't believe how well this thing received and transmitted. Um, you know, it was actually had the 858 PLL. This thing actually had mods on it, like the channel mods. But it was incredible how well it transmitted. Like way better than like one of those Cobra 28s or 29s in my classic. So even like one of the more modern radios, it was incredible how well it modulated. Um, but this thing looked pretty rough in the pictures, so... Yeah, it feels pretty pretty damn heavy. It's a lot heavier than the that road chalker I just picked up. Yeah, this is heavy. Actually, it's even heavier than this one. Let me take my camera down here. Alright. So this one I paid 70 bucks for. Plus ship no no, it was free shipping, but it was seventy dollars. But it looked pretty rough in the pictures. box uh, bag yeah it looked pretty rough wow but I'm sure you guys can already tell what this thing is it's a present grand but it's not any present grand if you guys know the people that know about CVs know what this is already this is A made in Japan present grant. So this was the first generation of present grant that was made in Japan. So this was the only one they actually made in Japan. And then in, everything after this this version, the three buttons there in the front, um, was made in either Taiwan or China or uh, Malaysia, I think Philippines. Um, Yeah, but the, a lot of people consider this one of the best mobile C radios ever made. Um, so this will just be part one of the video. Um, I'm going to open it up. We'll make sure it works. We'll fire it up. I don't even know if it works. It didn't come with the mic. Like I said, I'm really kind of taking a big risk here. So it has the double double mounts. Some of the newer radios only have, have this single mount. Um, All right, so this should be the the main board should be made by United, United or it's hard for me to pronounce it, Uniden, not United, Uniden. Um, all right, let's get this clip off here. Um, oh yeah, it's a present. You have to take the you have to take a. All right. Similar to the other one, like I said, but the other one, this is older than the Teddy R that I have right there. And I'll compare the two side by side so we can look at the differences in the board. Um, yeah, some of the paint's a little jacked up, but this is these ones are really hard to find, the, the Japanese made ones. So this one is definitely worth putting money and recapping. I wonder, are these original factory screws? I don't know. But these ones are definitely worth putting money into. Let's see if I can lower the thing down so you can get more in a frame here. Okay, the top comes off first. This that's one more screw here. Put all these screws in an ultrasonic cleaner. Hope this doesn't have a bunch of mods. Oh, there, I'm missing screws. <laughs> okay, damn. How many screws do I take off? Put it more than one side? Here 
I scored, or this was a horrible mistake, but yeah. It's not actually a horrible mistake. It's fun. Alright. Alright. Yeah, just the whole thing, it feels so much thicker, like the metal on this thing, than the other radio. What's, what's holding this up on the front? The mic? That's it. Oh man, this thing's... Ah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, just the cover, man. The cover is so much thicker than the other one, the Teddy R. Like, the Teddy R is made in Taiwan. Um, yeah, just the weight of these covers is way thicker than, than the Taiwanese version of it. Oh yeah, looking kind of dirty out there. Um... Yeah, one of this has, has Nitricon caps in it. So, I give that little copper strips. I don't see that on, on the other radios. Yeah, look at the, just the quality of even just even these mounts right here. You know, like those little things right there. You know, you don't see that on the other radios. It just it's just they're way. It's a lot more cheaply made. Wow. Yeah, and then you have those old school like vibration sponges right here. Yeah, it's cobwebs in there. Dirt everywhere. Wow, there's even a relay in there. Alright, so like take a look. So we have the same thing as the 858 PLL chip. There's tons of webs in there. Let's zoom that in here. I need some better light here, but take a look. Yeah, tons of webs in here. Um, yeah, so it has the get that webs out of there. I'm looking for barn marks, explosions, bad caps. I'll blow this out of my air compressor, get the webs out of there. Um, all right, so it looks like the speaker just comes out with these screws. Um, I'm curious what if these are nitricons or not the caps. Or about even touching that speaker, the cardboard, you know. Um, yeah, it's interesting. There's a relay right there. Um, all right, here's a little do side by side. Well, the speakers, the, the, the amount of the speakers is different in the Teddy R here. I'll zoom out here. So, as you can see, that it has the same D855. Um, PLL chip, and yeah, this thing is definitely worth recapping. So, yeah, I'm looking. I'm just looking at comparison. They, they are different boards. I mean, obviously, this one's SSB and the other one's not. So, um, A and there we go. Yeah, AM USB SSB. So. I just wanted to double check and make sure I got the right radio. I mean, at this point, I'm really just trying to like buy and restore SSB radios. I mean, I do actually have quite a few of the uh, the, the non-SSB uh, CBs, but really, I'm not going to put any money in the CBs that aren't SSB anymore. Maybe for the car, maybe I'm not sure. You know, just for mobile communications. But I was thinking about maybe getting like a newer mini radio or something, but. I might get a McKinley or something, but I don't want to get a really expensive CB in my in the Bronco. I don't want to get stolen, you know. Okay. Ooh, look at that crystal filter. Yeah, this actually this 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 uh, Road Talker Forty that I recently bought, offer up forty bucks. That thing was made in Japan too, and. Yeah, it looks like a very similar crystal filter here. But I think this one was made by Hitachi, though. Um, whereas this one was made by obviously Unit, and it says right on it. Um, caps? I'm looking for any bulging caps. I'm, 
I mean, I know the values are probably all off because they're probably dried out. Now what's this? How's that thing? There's a transformer up here. Put the radio back here. There's a transformer. But it's not hooked to anything, I don't think. Hmm. If you guys know what that is, let me know. Hmm. I don't like when things aren't hooked up. So that means, did somebody modify something? Um, is that... No, it looks like it's standard because like, the, the the plating matches this. They all have the same plating. Huh. Alright, who makes those caps? Alright, so interesting things here. So the caps that are on this board are made by Tosin. I've never even heard of it before. T-O-S-I-N. So I don't know if this thing has been recapped already or not. Um, I and mean, this could be Japanese capacitors. Unless they went cheap and made the thing in Japan but bought foreign capacitors. Like I noticed this crystal filter right here, or this crystal, is made in Taiwan. So, um, this is probably made in the late 70s. Um, I think 77 is when it came out. So, but pretty clean radio. So, so far, like I said, I'm looking around. Um, I'm gonna blow out my air compressor real fast and then we'll fire it up and see if it works. Yeah, my. Most of the stuff I use, I usually just do SIR. Um, but right now it's been going kind of going great. This is SCR console. That's channel 6 right there. Uh, I'm actually streaming this over IP right now. The main thing is connected to my other computer. And I'm just streaming over the network to get to this computer. But I'm on an SDR uh, Play Pro. They say toast on them. But I know Toshin makes capacitors, but these are made in Japan because I can see it says made. I mean, in really small text, it says Japan the capacitors. So I'm guessing those are probably the original capacitors. Um, but they make really good capacitors, so it's like they don't they last a lot longer. But still, the values are probably all over the place. All right, so that's the PCB revision right there. You can see it. It's PC dash one seven six A D. So let me down below. Let me know down below if you think this is a that's a good or bad PCB. But so far it looks pretty damn good. Well, the nice thing is I have an extra meter that I bought for the Teddy R. So in case this thing actually has issues, I should put that on. Now. Um, I'll be able to uh, use it on this one here. So this one's obviously a lot more valuable than that one. Like that one came in like fifty dollar lot with all the amps and all the stuff I got. All right, so it didn't come with a mic or power cord, so I just used the president mic of the head off the other one. So now I'm actually kind of building a collection of mics. Um, these last couple of hauls I've had, had had multiple hike mics in it. So, um, all right, let's fire this up. Make sure it's off. Okay, it's in the off position. Okay, power on. Can I get to my antenna? Oh, there you go. Turn it before. Wow, how's that? Okay, looks like the channel sucker is looking good. No. Oh, it's in the. Uh, uh, All right, so I guess this doesn't have mic gain. Cap, clarifier. Let's see if we can put that, is that a zero? Let's see here. Um, put that right there, clarifier in the center. Yeah, that feels a little crunchy. To put some deox on that thing. The dimmer, let's see if the dimmer works. Okay, oh, yeah. that's gonna need to be cleaned too. Um, but I don't see the meal moving. Local DX PA. Um, but I don't see the needle moving, and that's actually what happened to my other one, Teddy R. These things would they stick? Is it loose in there? 
not all in. As it looks like on the Atari R, it goes further up the front. I mean, they pretty much have the identical face plates, you know. Okay. Yeah, so I guess you don't get like on the other one. You have a choice between a, like RF. Um, you can choose what the meter does, but on this one you can't do that. Like this one, you can do modulation. Or, uh, but that's an incredible radio. That's what kind of made me start looking at present. Because I couldn't believe how it, that that old Teddy R like blew away the new Cobra Twenty Nine. Um. Let's do a quick transmit, see what I'm doing channel noise on. Probably see what I'm doing. Dead key. Then the tone out go off. Ooh. Not a, not the no dead key. Actually, I'm such a rookie. I didn't actually even realize it was on lower sideband. I forgot it was on lower sideband. So I'm doing a dead key test. And, um, uh, audio, 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 audio. All right, so let's do a, put this in AM. Put our camera on. Okay. Put it up. Two and a quarter watt dead key. I don't know, I was worried about the transmit part of it. It's like I hear the relay click, and so I was wondering what's going on with that. Um, yeah, I just had I had the lower side band. Uh, all right, Going back to thirty-eight. All right, looks like a fun project. So this will be part one, and I'm going to be looking for a cap kit and. I guess for now, I'll order a second one of these and put this in there. But what I want to do is clean this whole thing up, make it look as clean as I can, um, put deoxid in all these little pots. You know, this actually looks pretty good. I mean, I'm not, I don't see any like, uh, you know, like there's not like any missing digits here. So I, so I fixed the missing digit issue in like one of my other ones with deoxid. I was able to get deoxid in there. Some you can, some you can't get in there. So. What's it like? I don't know what that means. Local and DX. Okay, so DX is out. Okay, so if you're local, I'm guessing that's like noise blanket for local. Because you wouldn't want that on DX because it's everything's so faint to begin with. Alright guys, cool. Having fun.